Okay, let's see if we can create a pair of eyes and rig them completely in under 10 minutes. So to start off, I'll do Command G to bring up the grid. And I'm going to hit Draw Shape and then the Circle Tool. No autofill and no stroke yet. And I'll select in the center point, holding Option and Shift down, and then just dragging out a circle, doing it again, and then one more time for the pupil. Then I'm going to hit A, make sure Auto Weld is on. Connect these two points, and then these two points. And then I'm going to hit U. And we're going to, and that's create shape, and then I hold shift down, grab all of these points, select fill, and we'll go over here and select the skin color, hit spacebar, that'll create it. Hit G, uh, hold shift down, and select all of these points. And hit U, create a new shape, and then hit spacebar, and it'll create that. Then we'll go ahead and select the white, uh, white part of the eyeball, click on uh, the white swatch to change that, and hit spacebar. It makes that white. Same thing for this, use black for the pupil, hit spacebar. Then we'll hit C and curve these out, make it circle again. And then we also need to make sure that the uh, layers are correct. So let's go ahead and bring the eyelid down. Um, hit Q and select the pupil and then hit down arrow. Take, and just keep tapping it till it goes to the back and then hit the white and make sure that's behind the pupil. And that looks correct. So then we'll hit uh, T, make that a circle again. And then let's go ahead and give the line or put some lines uh, around the eye. So hit U to create shape. Select this point, hold shift down, and select those three points, and then select stroke up here. And we'll hold shift down and hold, uh, select the skin color again, but then click on the color, make it a little darker, hit OK, then hit spacebar. I'll hit W to widen the line. Same thing again, hit U, select, uh, hold shift and select these three points, hit spacebar hit W and then we've got a couple of lines and then we'll just get rid of the grid by uh, hitting command G now let's hit uh, S let's go ahead and use a um, rectangle I'm just gonna use brown um, and then hold shift down and select the brown next to it and I'll draw an eyebrow and this time we will have auto fill and stroke on and let's draw that Add some points. Oops. Let's put it up here. Move that around. I think. Adding points. Using C to curve some of these out. I think I have two, four, six, eight points on this eyebrow. And we'll just leave it like that. Okay, now select all, Command A, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, hit T and move this over, hit flip right here, flip horizontally, got like that. And we're done with creating the eyes. Now let's do a bone layer, call this eyes, drag that layer that we created into the bone layer and click on eyes and on frame zero make sure you uh, select uh, add bones uh, you can also just hit a and the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line straight across right here and then I'll draw one on the pupil over here hit B so we reselect the first bone we drew and then hit a again and then draw on the pupil again that way both of these are parented to this bone. Same thing down here. We need to deselect. Click on the canvas so nothing selected. Hit A to add a new bone. We'll draw one here. And this is going to be connected, so we'll draw one here. Hit B. Select this bone. Hit A. Draw one here. Hit B. Click on the canvas so it's cleared. Hit A, 
and we'll draw one here. I'm going to draw it a different direction just so it's easier to see. And then we'll draw one here. So these two are connected. Hit B and select the center again. Draw down. And then if we look at the bone parenting, you can see these two are connected to the, this one, these two to this one, these two to this one. And now we'll hit B, click on the canvas to clear. I'm going to draw one bone here and one bone there to control the eyebrow. Click B, select this bone, and then we'll draw one right there. Hit B again. Add another uh, bone here. This is connected. Hit B, select the center one like that. Okay. So the two side bones are connected to the center one. And then we'll put uh, another hit B, clear everything, and then draw a bone here. And this is going to control the eyebrows together. So what we need to do is reparent because I forgot to, I should have drawn drawn this one first. So what we need to do is go into the bone parenting. We'll hit B, select this bone, hit P, and then tap on the center one. Same thing with this one. Hit B, select this bone, hit P, and parent it to this one. Okay. Now we need to bind points. So let's go to Let's actually select all the bones, Command A, turn the uh, bone strength down all the way. We don't need that at all. And let's go to our artwork layer. I'm going to hit B, select this bone, hit T, tap on that point, and then hit bind points here and bind points here. Same thing. For the pupil, select the bone you want to use, hit T, select the pupil, make sure it's got all of the points, and then bind twice. Hit B, select this bone, hit T, hit uh, select that point, and bind. Same thing on this side, B, T, select, bind, B, T, Select and bind. B, hit T, select that point and bind. And then for this one, we'll go ahead and hit B, select, select the center one, select the entire eyebrow and just bind. So it's binding to that whole thing, but then we can hit uh, B. And then if we draw a shape and grab these three points, Maybe even this one too. And then rebind. It'll override. Actually, it's not, <laughs> the center one's not even going to control anything because this is going to control these four points. And then this one, it'll hit B. And then uh, I'm hitting G this time so I can just drag over and select all these points and bind those. Hit G and bind those. Select this bone, hitting B and then G, and dragging over these two points, or four points, and bind. And if, if it was all correct, it should be good to go. So let's click on the eye, the bone layer, and let's just test it out. So if I hit T and grab the bottom of this, this should control both pupils. And if you want to control individual pupils, you can come and grab them like this. And this still controls both of them together. Uh, let's grab the tops. Yep, the blinking works good. But again, if you want to animate them individually, you can grab them separately. Same thing here. Good. Now let's see if the eyebrows work. Yes. This controls everything in the eyebrows. This controls one eyebrow. This controls the other. And these control the angles, so we can make them look mad or worried. And that's it. 
let's see how well we did keeping it under 10 minutes. Okay, that took actually almost exactly 10 minutes to make. Um, but I wanted to do this little follow-up to show you how I actually use it in a rig. So I have a character here, and uh, don't pay any attention to her, uh, these weird um, shadows. Those are just highlights that, let me render it out. You can see I'm just messing with the uh, highlighting for her. Um, so let's go a little closer into the eyes. And this is the exact same rig as what I just made, same amount of bones. And as you can see, if I hit T, uh, this bone controls the bottom eyelids. This one controls the tops. Um, if you want to control them independently, you can do that also. Um, I have one bone for the, both eyes. And if you want, you can whoa, <laughs> move them around if you want to make your character a little derpy and it'll still control from this one bone. Um, and also just be aware if you use this type of rig with this point binding system, if you don't grab the very bottom of the bone to move and you actually accidentally grab the uh, top of the bone, it'll rotate instead and probably don't want that. Uh, so just be careful when you're grabbing the bones. And this controls the eyebrows and you can control those independently if you want. Um, the two side ones control the angle of the eyebrow itself. So, yeah, it's pretty uh, simple rig. I really like using this because um, it just makes sense to me uh, to have, f well, I use one bone for the eyes in particular. A lot of people use two one for up and down, one left and right, but it's just easier for me to control this way. Um, I can place the uh, eyes wherever I want really fast. And, um, you know, most of the time when you're doing facial expressions, um, these, these points, like the eyelashes, or I mean the eyebrows and the eyelids move at the same time. So I like to control all of that. Uh, at the same time, but if I need to make some kind of like, oops, puzzled look, I can do, I still can control them uh, independently. And this, this is really handy too, to have this middle bone to uh, just adjust the tilt. You can go from worried to angry with just a little tilt of the uh, bone. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions or uh, thoughts, just uh, leave a comment down below.